Hi YouTube, I'm Sean Ferguson from Life Skills Therapy, and today I want to talk to you about helping your child make a good, clear S sound. There are two main types of S lisps. The first is a frontal lisp that appears like this and can come across as thun, the water in the think, what did you say, I see that. The other is a lateral lisp. It sounds like this, and it's more like the water in the sink, the sun, what did you say? Let me see it. The first thing to think about when helping your child correct their S sound is where is the S sound made? Generally, the S is made by raising the front of the tongue up behind the teeth. It's called an alveolar sound because it's in your alveolar ridge in your mouth. So you go, tongue is up, right? Here's the tongue goes up like that. Here's my little hand model. It looks like this. Tongue is up in the front. Now also, the tongue can be produced with a tongue down S, which is equally fine. It's more like this. The sun, the sun. I'm not as good at it, but some people can produce it without making a slurpy or lispy S sound. Um, the sun, what did you say? What can you see? Um, so it just depends on, the, on people. Uh, a clear S sound, I believe, is made by bringing the tongue tip up and getting that s up here. Whoops, there we go. What I do to help a child produce the S sound, first of all, is I show them teeth closed and I just imitate the sound. That's generally my starting point with helping a child produce any sound, is just holding out the sound and seeing if they can approximate it, which means getting close to producing it correctly or even produce it correctly, uh, which sometimes does happen. So then we'll just hold out that sound and we'll go on sun and they might go and I'll say, close your teeth. I wanna see a smile and I'll say, let's smile. I'll even get out my, my speech pathology mirror here. I've got this one right here. So I'll let them see themselves in the mirror and they'll go sun, just like that. The mirror or a phone with the selfie mode on really helps a lot because the child can then see your face and they can compare it to their own face. Another helpful way to assist your child in producing a clear S sound is what's called co-articulation. What that means is making another sound in the same part of the mouth. So like how we said before, the S is produced in the alveolar re region um, at the top part of your mouth behind your front teeth. Up here, the, the tongue curves more than my fingers can, but you get the idea. We can put an SN or an ST sound together. So words like snail, snail, snake, s and then ST words like stick, um, fun words like stinky. Uh, I do work with some younger ones and bringing in humor always makes a big difference. Stinky, and they might say stinky, and I say, Stinky, what is that? Or they say, snail. I say, what's a snail? You mean, oh, do you mean snail? And I relied on, a lot on, again, play and sort of pretending I don't understand what the child said and then correcting them and then asking for them to produce the same sound. Generally, if, if I pretend I don't understand and then I say the word, they want to repeat it because they want to say it right. Those are great ways to help kids. As I say, perfect practice makes perfect. We're not perfectionists here but we do want to try to make the sounds as correctly as we can. Producing it a hundred times like this will not help, but producing it three or four times correctly will make a big difference. So to practice on those correct productions, make a big deal, reinforce it with high fives, applause. The results will speak for themselves. I hope this video is helpful for you. If it was, please like, comment, and subscribe, and look forward to hearing from you with any questions or comments. Thanks a lot.